Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. Today is Monday and the date is 1st of February 2021. This is your mathematics class and I am Ms. Samara, your math teacher. My dear students, our today's lesson is based on calculating of length or breadth when area is given. In previous lesson, we had learned that how we can find out the area of a rectangle. We can find out the area of the rectangle by multiplying length and breadth. So today we have to learn that how we can find the length and breadth when area is given. So, first of all, my dear student, tell me the answer of this question. 2 multiply by dash is equals to 6. By which number we should multiply by 2 to get 6? So, yes, 3 to multiply by 3 is equals to 6. Or we can say 6 multiply by 2 is equals to 3. Here is one more question. Yes, 10 multiplied by 5 is equals to 50 or 50 divided by 10 is equals to 5. So in the same way, we can find out the missing side. So just think that we should multiply length by which to get the area. Yes, by breadth. If we multiply length and breadth, we can get area of rectangle. And when we have to find out the breadth, we have to divide area by length. If we have to find out the length, then we have to find out area by its breadth. So we should learn these formulas. Let's learn through an example. We have given a rectangle whose area is 195 meter square. Breadth is 13 meter and we have to find out the length. We know that if we multiply length by breadth, we can get the area. Length we have to find out and breadth is 13 meter. Area is given as 195 meter square. So this is the rule of ma mathematics that we have to perform the opposite operation when we have to find out the thing. So 13 is multiplied with length and multiplications opposite is division. So we can find out the length by dividing 195 by 13. So when we divide 195 by 13, we get as 15 centimeters. So my dear students, the formulas are very much important. If you learn the formula, then you can never make a mistake. Yes, my dear students, let's practice one more example. So in this example, we have to find out the length of the rectangle if the area is 100 cm square and breadth is 5 cm. We know that we can get the area by multiplying length and breadth. Here length we have to find out. So we can find out the length by using this formula area divided by breadth. Area is 100 cm square and breadth is 5 cm. So we have to divide 100 cm square by 5. In the working column you can divide 100 by 5. We know that 5, 2 is 10 and then 0 will come down. So when we divide 100 by 5, we get 20 cm as its length. And my dear students, also you can verify your answer while you calculate the missing length. Like here, we found length as 20 cm. So we know that we, if we multiply length and breadth, we can get area. So Length is 20 cm and breadth is 5 cm. You can multiply both of these. If it is equals to the given area, it means 
your calculation is correct. Here is one more example. Find the breadth of the rectangle if area is 96 cm square and length is 12 cm. So here we have area and length that is given and we have to find out the breadth. We know that to find out the breadth we use this formula. Breadth is equals to area divided by length. Area is 96 cm square and length is 12 cm. So we have to divide both these. We know that 12 times 8 is 96. So it means the breadth is 8 cm. Again, you can verify the answer by multiplying 12 by 8 and we get as 96. I hope you understood all the things. So here is a beautiful quotation. It's okay to not know, but it's not okay to not try. So if you don't know anything, when you will try, you can get each and everything. You can understand all the concepts. Thank you, my dear students. Take care. Allah Hafiz.